Hello. Uh, so today I'm going to be discussing my new student dialogue um, or vlog for the Clemson University CU1000. Um, so let's get this started. Mine was on microaggressions. That's what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, microaggressions are people getting upset over small things and people not realizing um, why that's making other people upset and uh, just, just trying how to uh, deal with those feelings um, the best way possible. All right, so let's begin. The first question is, do I feel like my group achieved true dialogue? Um, I'd say that we were pretty successful um, in our true dialogue. Um, I don't know what the exact definition of true dialogue is, but we did have some good communication. Um, people were talking. We got to know each other um, decently well, I'd say. Um, and I'd say the, the moderators, they did all right. Um, they kept us talking. Um, so yeah, yeah, true dialogue, I guess that, yeah, covers it. Um, share your observations of the dynamic with your group. Uh, oh, part A. Um, were there active voices in the dialogue? Yes, I believe that there were some active voices. Um, I'd say the moderators were, I guess, obviously active. Um, they were good at talking and talked loudly and gave their ideas and opinions. Um, and then some of the other students definitely did get more involved. Um, a lot of people were quiet, um, but a few of us, you know, got got our opinions out. We wanted to talk, and uh, uh, like there was a wide variety of different cultures and religions and and uh, backgrounds. So there was good conversation going on. Um, were there more reserved voices? Yes, there were definitely some more reserved voices. I feel like not everyone wanted to be there, and so there was definitely some people who were um, more quiet. Uh, what role did you play in your group? Um, I guess, I, I don't know, I think I talked a good bit. I definitely wanted to keep it interesting and not just sit there the entire time. Um, our moderators told us that they'd get pretty upset, and they weren't going to let us leave early no matter what. Um, so yeah, I tried to talk um, as much as I could and give whatever input I could. Um, yeah, so why do you think... Dialogue is a component to CU 1000. I'd say it's probably a component because um, it's just necessary to uh, get those cultural um, backgrounds from like, notice that once we get into the college, this is more like the real world where there, there definitely is um, a good amount of people um, who come from different places. So, you, you know, you, you kind of get thrown into that. You get to hear from other people, get to hear from other ideas that you might have not possibly heard of beforehand. Um, so that was pretty interesting, and I feel like that's probably why that was in there and included. Um, do you see dialogue as a useful tool for your university experience? Yeah, I'd say dialogue was pretty useful. Um, do I think I could have graduated without it? Yeah, I probably could have graduated without it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'd say I'd say it was good to uh, talk to people about microaggressions, um, and you know, hear from other people. Um, so, like, so I'll just give some examples of what we did talk about. Um, so, microaggressions, like I said, is just like um, cautious of the fact that people can be upset um, by things you say and you not realize, uh, just because everybody comes from different backgrounds. Um, so we talked about like, like the use of slang, how some people like loosely use the word gay, um, and how that can be offensive to some people, or how people um, say in sports they say like, oh, our team raped yours. Um, well, like as even though that's used in a joking manner, um, that is definitely offensive to people, especially if they've ever been through that sort of trauma. Um, so. Yeah, that was kind of just some of the stuff we talked about. Then we also like um, listed all our different demographics and, and got to see where we came from with all our different backgrounds and then talked about um, how that was important and what upset us and what upset um, each other and what we thought was offensive. Some of it I thought was a little extreme. For example, apparently crosswalk signs are offensive. Um, because people in wheelchairs can't walk, and so if they see a sign that says walk now, they might be offended by that. Um, I feel like that's a little extreme, because it... Margarita Doritos! Um, 
because it's just it's just Parker. over the top. Uh, I feel like Parker. people in wheelchairs really wouldn't be too upset with Parker. that. <laughs> <And> <laughs> yeah. Um. <Parker. laughs> so, uh, yeah, just microaggressions. That's Parker. We're out of Doritos. Parker. <laughs> That's all. Parker. Have a nice day.